chance to see what we're doing here. I think this is uh, has to do with the step and your slide, your forward sprawl. So here you're backing up, which was a drill. You set up. Hand should be out in front of you, and don't bend so much at the waist. Bend a little bit more at the knees when you're playing it. Okay, so uh, let's just stop that for a second. Let's back up. Notice how you did a, a step backwards. So here you are, and then watch when you move forward. So it's here, you step backwards before you start forward. And so that's part of not being in the ready position. And there's, it's a good dig, and everything's sprawled out fine. There isn't a problem with it. You played it with two hands, and then as you move forward, hands go down, and you slide. So there's nothing wrong with that. It's a, it's a nice dig. Um, the only th thing that you lost a little bit on was the back step, where you had to step back when you were back here. So let's get you back into position. Let's see what it looks like there. So moving back into position. And let's slow it back down again. So here you are, and there's your ready position again. Notice how you're, you're, there's so much weight back on your feet, and you're, you're leaning at your waist. You need to bend your knees a little bit more in your ready position. You come forward. There's your step. Now, you didn't have to go down on that one, so I would have stayed up on my feet on that one. And close your mouth when you're making your pass. So that toss didn't require you to hit the ground, um, but it's uh, it was still there, which is okay. So then let's speed it back up and get you back into position. And see you in the ready position this time. And then I'm going to actually stop you in your ready position. So let's go 18. So now watch. Here's your, your ready position. And you notice how your legs, like look at how straight the legs are. And what you need to do is those need to be bent a lot lower on your defense. And so uh, your, your legs are too straight to play defense. And then you start to move forward, which is fine. And this one you're going to stretch out on. No, you gave up on it. Mentally lost it. Mentally didn't go for it. Mentally. Your body told you, oh, I'm not going to go down and get that one. You need to go down and get that one. You could have got it. It was just a matter of uh, taking one more step. And the other thing is that you're starting from way up here, so then your, your approach to, to make your defense was like this. What it should be is like this, and then it's a lot easier, and you're not so far up in the air. So here you're in your ready position, and so you've already made the decision you're going to dive, and this toss is far enough back that you don't have to, but we're going to go down anyways. So there it is. There's your nice dig. Hands go down, stop your face from hitting the floor. And so that's a, there's nothing wrong with that dig. It's fine. It's just a matter of uh, not having to make the decision beforehand. Because we're practicing the, the dive, we do, do the, you're going to dive. But you don't have to play it down low if you're fast enough. You should be able to get in there. The, uh, the biggest thing with you is your ready position. You use your weights backwards, and you need to bend your knees a little bit more. So play closer to the ground when you're playing defense. So think about uh, getting a little bit wider of a stance and a little bit more bent knees.